This video lecturette will teach you how to revise a paragraph. To start, let's review what we already know about paragraphs and the writing process. So a paragraph is a collection of sentences about one main idea, and it's made up of two parts, a topic sentence and supporting sentences. The topic sentence states the paragraph's main idea, who or what the paragraph is about, and it contains a topic and a controlling idea, and it can be placed at the beginning, middle, or end of the paragraph. In addition to the topic sentence, a paragraph also has supporting sentences, which provide more detail about the topic sentence. Let's also review the writing process. There are five steps to the writing process. The first step is pre-writing, which is generating ideas about your topic. The second step is drafting, where you write your ideas and sentences in paragraph form. And the third step is revising, which is checking over your content, which is what we'll be discussing today. And then you edit and look for your mistakes, and then you publish to present a final copy. So let's talk about this third step in the writing process, revising. Revising just means looking over your content. But how, what does that mean, and, and how do you know what you should look for? We're going to use a very easy approach to revision that contains four major steps and is easy to remember and will guide you through the revision process. And this approach is FACT. In the FACT approach for revision, each letter in FACT stands for a different part of the revision process and something you should look for. So in the FACT approach to revising, F stands for FIT. You want to make sure all of your content in your paragraph fits. Is it all relevant to the topic sentence or is any of it off topic? Let's look at an example of a brainstorming list that somebody wrote on the topic why writing skills are important. And in this list, the writer has jotted down the following ideas. Better resumes, better cover letters, get a job, talk on the phone with customers, appear more intelligent, get taken more seriously, technology and for innovations, interview better and listen to others. When doing the F fit step of the fact approach to revision, we wanna look for anything that doesn't really fit with the topic, why writing skills are important. So as I look through this list, a few things immediately come to mind. Talking on the phone with customers, interviewing better and listening to others. Those are all important communication skills to have, but they aren't writing skills. So we can cross those off of our list. Then we move on to the A in the FACT approach, which stands for add. Here you wanna look for anything you need to add to your paragraph to make it easier to understand. You wanna ask yourself, is the paragraph clear? Does anything need, need more details or explanations? And did I include everything I meant to? So going back to our brainstorming list, applying the A for add step, we wanna look for anything that isn't clear or could use some more information. And when I look at this list, I think of technology innovations. There are a lot of technology innovations that require us to do more writing, but we didn't really have a whole lot of information in this list to help us explain that clearly. So I would add the following, that we need to email coworkers when working remotely, we need to write emails and letters to customers, and sometimes we even web chat with customers. And those are all ways that technology informations have created more need to be a better writer in the workplace. The C in fact stands for cut. Here you wanna look at anything that's unnecessary that you can just cut out of your paragraph. Specifically, is there anything repeated or is anything clutter? Is it fluff? You know how we all tend to try to make a paragraph or an essay longer by adding details that are relevant but aren't really necessary to explain the topic? That's what we wanna look for. So going back to our brainstormed list, I noticed two things that immediately stuck out as maybe needing to be cut. And those are that writing, having writing skills help you appear more intelligent, you get taken more seriously. Now those are relevant to the topic as to why writing skills are important. But I think those things can be discussed when we talk about how writing helps you get a job by writing a better resume and a better cover letter. So I don't think we need those to be completely separate details, so I would just get rid of those two thoughts altogether. That takes us to the last step in the FACT approach, T. T is for test. This means test the organization. Does the order in which you presented your ideas make sense, and do you need any transitions to help your writing flow more smoothly? So when I go back to our brainstormed list, I see here I have discussed better resumes, better cover letters, and getting a job. 
and those three things all go together. And then I discuss technology information and those details I added about technology innovations, and those things all go together. So I actually think my organization will work. When I go to write this in a paragraph, I'll just have to make sure I have a transition to connect the first idea of better resumes and getting a job to the technology innovations that make us have to write more. And so that is the fact approach to revision, fit, add, cut, and test. And if you do this with the paragraphs you write, your paragraphs will end up being more relevant, have less clutter, be, have smooth organization, and will be very clear to your readers.